Hey y'all, welcome back. Oh my god, thank you for coming back. We have a very exciting and fun episode today. And by exciting and fun, I mean possibly sad. I don't know. <laughs> today, we are talking about black families. Why? Because I am black and that is the only family that I can relate to to talk about. So, if you can't relate, I'm sorry. It's just because I can't relate either. I was on my friend Liz's podcast, which... You know, I was very excited to do. I've never been interviewed for a podcast before. And on Spotify, it's called Therefore Noir. And her name is Liz. And she, we were also speaking about the black family because she had a similar experience. But our outcomes were very different. So um, I'm very public with like how I feel and things I go through. I uh, tend to vent my frustrations like on Facebook. I'm sure that people are sick of it. But I have to get it out of my chest. Mostly because I have to get it out, and also because I have a bad memory. I kind of use it as a way to remember some of the things I went through and to not, like, forgive certain people or not to forget what certain people did, you know. So I've always been open with my family and my issues that I've had. So, you know, I've known her since high school. <laughs> We're old. It was a really honest and open interview. Uh, I, I can definitely say that. Um, I tend to overshare a little bit but I wanted <laughs> to give her you know the most honest answers I could about my experience so we're gonna add that link in the description so check that out she also has a really amazing poetry book by the way called say less and uh, that's gonna be on her Spotify account but that was also really good too if you like poetry and again understanding certain experiences or maybe just having like strict parents like um, Caribbean families tend to be strict, and it tends to sort of be the same with Haitian or African families. And then there's other races that can also um, relate to strictness. So if you can relate to that, this podcast and her book, definitely for you. You know, I, I'm realizing talking about it more that strict families tends to be more what people can relate to. And But you know what else people can relate to, which I find really sad, and I mean like talking to like Hispanic families, and Asian people with Asian families, uh, the, 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 for the women anyway, the comments on your body, oh my gosh, all the time, it doesn't matter what culture, Indian, Asian, Spanish, black, always watch it like, oh, you're gaining weight, oh, are you pregnant, oh, like, you know, you're not gonna get a certain type of man or a good man if you're a certain size. Oh my god, it was just really annoying just to hear, and it's so interesting to like, hear it across all walks of life, but it's just very interesting, especially considering like like other families, right? So, in my family, I'm considered big, whatever, I don't care. But then, from what I heard in like Asian families, like, they want you to be like 90 pounds. And that's, I will never be 90 pounds. That'd just be like an unreasonable thing for me to attain. So, and I guess like, you can say like, certain Asian girls were just naturally smaller and that's, for us, it's like, well, they're already small, and you want them to be smaller? Like, it's like, what? It's so, it's so interesting how weight just goes through. It doesn't matter where you are, where you're from. You can't be a girl who is fat. <laughs> you can't be a woman who is fat. You just can't be fat. <sighs> and, you know, other things, like not being able to go out, again, as a girl, because I, a woman, because I can only relate to that. Not being able to go out, you know, being forced to have to clean and like cook and do all the household chores as if like they want to train you to have a man, but then you're not really allowed to go out and get a man. Like you can't have a boyfriend at 16 because that's wrong. You can't want to date or anything because you're fast. Baby girls, we've been through this before. No dating until after you're married. But they want you to cook and clean for this imaginary person that you're not allowed to possibly meet. It's very weird. <laughs> I don't understand it. Um, I was very lucky that I had like a middle. It was like they were strict in the sense of they didn't want me to go out and do stuff. But then because of that, my mom let me have people over. So I never really noticed that it wasn't because they didn't want me to go out. They just let people come to my house. And so when I got older in my 20s and I wanted to go out, it was like a problem, but it was so weird because I was home all the time. So I didn't really understand why they would react that way. Like me being interested in makeup was bad. Me wearing hoop earrings 
was bad. I just never understood like some of the rules. And then like I listened to other people. Um, like uh, I knew, I think she was Filipino and you went to do hookah. And she was like, I can't, you can't post any pictures of me doing hookah because my parents think this is a crack pipe. And no amount of explaining will get them to understand that it's not a crack pipe, you know? And, you know, you just gotta, <laughs> you just gotta like, certain things like with your parents, you just gotta go, all right, well, they're never gonna listen to what this even is. But isn't that interesting now that marijuana is legal? <laughs> a lot of arguments where it's illegal, that's why you shouldn't do it. Well, now it's legal, mom. So what? Like you can't tell me that you smoking a cigarette is fine because it's legal. Because now, so is weed. <laughs> weed is legal in New York State, where I am currently. So it's, that's interesting because I feel like there's a lot of Caribbean parents who smoke and a lot of Caribbean parents who are super anti, anti drug, anti cigarette, anti anything. So it's it's like a, a very weird line. You either got the ones who were anti-drug, but then was wild crazy when they were younger, and then just want to act like they're holier than thou now. And you got the ones who just secretly do it, and then treat you like garbage if they find you doing it. I just feel like navigating life is, can be a little difficult, especially when you have strict parents that don't necessarily want to listen to you, when there's certain stereotypes they still want you to adhere to. You doctor yet? No, Dad, I'm 12. Talk to me when you doctor! When there's certain body types they want the girls to... to to fit into it can be tough and honestly like me and Liz you know the, the one who did the podcast we've grown up to be different but amazing people uh, she has her family and I think that's awesome and she you know got away from the toxic part of her family I moved away I'm improving every day I'm here sharing this amazing show with you guys so you can hear the crazy ramblings that's inside of my head I can talk about this subject for a very long time. I can go for hours, I can go for episodes, but I wanted this today to be light. I hope that, you know, if you can relate, leave it in the comments. If you have a story, leave it in the comments. I probably have a story for you as well. Uh, I just want you guys to check out my friend Liz's podcast, Therefore Noir. And also, I want to leave y'all with a positive message. Whatever you have gone through, whatever hardships that you have gone through because of your family, just think about where you're going. I'm here now, sharing my positivity. My friend is sharing her positivity. And you will also be sharing your positivity. Hey guys, like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the amazing content that I'm gonna be bringing to you. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified first when I drop new content.